Hello crafters, uh, back in my single player again, and in this video I will be bringing you the ninth part of my how to build a 4-bit computer series. Um, so this will be a direct progression from the uh, from the last video, where we uh, where we just did these simple buses, the orange busing here and the green busing here. So if you haven't done that, go back and watch my previous video. And uh, but as you can see, it's not particularly difficult. We just brought them around so they're more accessible. And uh, like I said in the last video, today we're going to be um, doing even more busing, sadly. But um, I can promise you that the video after this will be more interesting. But um, but this video will simply be taking these four outputs, which are on the bottom, and then busing them straight up using redstone, and then taking them back into the input registers. Very, uh, very similar to this blue here. Um, but after this, I think... We will be starting a screen for our for our um, uh, for our computer. Obviously, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do for this. Probably a seven segment display because a GPU is a bit too advanced for this for this computer. Well, it's not too advanced for the computer, but um, mm, yeah, I think I'll just stick with a number display. It'll be easier. Okay, so to begin. Just uh, take these out. One, I think, will do. And do our usual glowstone stack. Just build it all up and then destroy the blocks after. Uh, okay, so like this. Mm -hmm. And use red again because it's uh, it's the RAM busing and the output from the RAM. So I like to keep things color coordinated. Take it up one more and then all the way out. I'll just bring it to actually no, I'll take it all the way out and then we can uh, do the stacking in two bits. I think. Actually, that's a bit stupid of me. Maybe we should take it down now. No, I'll, uh, I'll carry it going. It'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay. Um, yeah, about here. It doesn't really matter to be like precise or anything. Just uh, cover this with redstone. Actually, I forgot that I can use redstone on a on my single player because on RDF they don't allow you to use redstone with world edit which kind of sucks so you can do all the blocks but you can't, start, um, but you can't fill redstone um, due to like griefing and stuff even though there's very little griefing um, so set redstone that's that done oh yeah and uh, obviously add redstone to your glowstone redstone your glowstone right now I need to check how far so easiest way probably just to um come back and delete this block here and it does just about reach if we go like this and then uh add repeaters when i was first uh just first starting out with redstone and computers when I didn't know much. I think I watched a Benny Scubble and that's how you say his name video where he built everything but then uh, waited until the end to add the repeaters which I don't see why he did that just means an extremely boring few videos but so yeah that's why I always uh, add them as we go along because they don't take that much time really okay I'll, uh, I'll stack this top one first After we finish the video, I'll probably do one, um, another explanation video because um, it might not have been 100% clear. So to clarify the more complex things in this computer, I'll add another video. So stack this three times, <clears throat> like so. Take these out one like the uh, like the previous one, and then we can uh, 
Where is it? Oh yeah, just uh, just go and replace this block. No, not that block. Never mind that. This block here. Okay, now it's time to stack our glowstone, and then uh, that will be about done. Well, this little bit of it will be done. <sighs> um, yeah. If we get down to here. That'll be fine. Stack it three times, as with most things in a 4-bit computer, and there we go. So now the outputs are bust back around to here. And now, um, similar to these, to this well, pretty much exactly the same to these blue uh, blue wires. They need to be um, bust down, and then with an the enabler on it. Um, so where these repeaters are here, just add uh, add inverters. Okay, now uh, now for the slightly awkward part of separating these out into the uh, correct position. So it's always a, bit, always a bit of a pain with this, but unavoidable. All right, this is just going to be guesswork. So if uh, if this goes wrong, don't hate me for it. And it went wrong already. <laughs> Take it out one. Okay, that'll uh, that's fine. So make sure you just got an extra block there so it fits, and then, whoops, misplaced block. Oh. Um, while recording this, I'm uploading the previous part of this video, so that should be with you shortly. Well, when you actually um watch this, it won't be shortly at all if it happened, but. Yeah, never mind. It is on its way. Um. Okay. Just make it light again. Actually, a handy command to stop you from doing that is just typing light into single player commands. And now, it, uh, even though the sun will go down, it will always be uh, fully lit up. Nothing you can do about the rain, though. Okay, add this. Now to test the length, as always. Uh, the good thing about this is when you're powering down, maybe something you didn't know, if you've got this block like powered up here, you can place the torch directly below, and then a repeater, and it means that you can keep your the same like diagonal pattern going on and uh, and add repeats to it which is uh, very nice it's something you can't do when going up like in a spiral staircase but then again you don't really use that because of um uh because we've got glowstone now well i've done for ages okay um like i think i explained before this looks like it's on but it's not on it's just this torch here um in the rs null latch of the d flip flop uh, so yeah, that's that's one of them done. I think we can. Uh, so look, it's the same on each one from this block here. Okay, so from here we can copy. Uh, we can just copy this down to here, and then uh, save us a little bit of work and mine and your time. I guess. Okay, now uh, no, just bring this out in line with the one below. So out, uh, out three and like four across, and then uh, bring it down to the same level. Oh damn, that's nine. Okay, uh, just take this down like this. And then I think we can go onto this block here and paste it.
Oops, let me do that. Okay. Yeah, and that, uh, that reaches very nicely. My, um, well, recently I, uh, I'm quite an avid Diablo player, Diablo, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm quite an avid Diablo player. And, um, I was thinking when I get to Nightmare difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty, if you didn't know, I would do some Diablo gameplay of the different bosses and elites and stuff. Um, so I just thought if you, uh, if that sounds good to you, leave a comment, I guess. Um, another thing which I was possibly thinking of doing was um, some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay uh, with a friend and when the new Assassin's Creed come out I'll probably do some Assassin's 3 gameplay as well. Um, one second, just, so just paste this like we did before. So yeah, so very up from just Minecraft I guess. But the Modern Warfare 3 you'll probably, uh, probably go on the other guy's channel. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that should be something interesting. When we finish the, this computer, um, like the next immediate thing I'll do after this is uh, maybe add a more complex like com uh, part to it, or I will start a, um, start a single player uh, survival series. Yeah, survival series. Um, which I know is a, for those who aren't big into redstone, is a lot more interesting to watch than uh, just tutorials and stuff. And um, another thing which I mentioned a few video was an introduction, which uh, I haven't got around to finishing yet, but it is definitely uh, had progressed onto it. So I uh, paste it once more. Like so. Hmm. Absolutely horrible weather in England. Don't know how anyone can call this summer. Absolutely disgusting. Raining constantly for the past few weeks. Which absolutely sucks. But especially now it's the holidays. But then again, I don't mind being camped up inside of my uh, laptop. It's not really uh, not really that much of a big deal, I guess. Okay, so um, back to the computer. Uh, this uh, like control bit or control wire or whatever you want to call it, flow control. Um, that sounds weird, but yeah, this is um, uh, obviously send ALU output to the input registers. So the one up here will be send RAM output to the input registers, and it'll just be the exact same thing, just a line across with torches. I think we're probably going to have one more like control bit, which will be send the RAM output to the display. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But to be honest, I'm making this up as I go along. Uh, okay, it'll be easy. I'm just going to bust this down, save myself a bit of time in there, and then whenever I uh, have to do it, or would have had to do it, do it, whatever. Uh, oh, bother! Oh no, cyan and light blue look so similar. Oh, by the way, the texture pack I'm using is OCD by uh, FV Disco. He's a pretty awesome redstoner, and uh, he deals with mainly um, like with CMB doing the more like creative stuff, like doors and the Temple of Notch and stuff like that where I, uh, I like to do more logic based stuff. But yeah, so this is uh, this is called OCD. It's a really neat text pack. It's one of my favorites of all time. Okay, I'll uh, just test the length. Oh, that's a pain. Right on top of the torch. Okay, uh, I'll just uh, label this and that should be done. Send RAM output to input registers. Is that the same as that? Yep. Okay, that's very nice.
So in the next video, I think I'll be uh, starting the seven segment display. That'll probably take up maybe four videos, but it should be a lot more interesting than what we've uh, what we've just done. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.